What is up, everyone? Justin Parnell back with more Wilds of Eldraine Historic Brawl, and we have one that people are obviously clamoring for, maybe even honking for, and that's the Goose Mother. So the Goose Mother starts as a 2-2 as a Bird Hydra, of course, for X, Green, and Blue. It has Flying to start. But when it enters the battlefield, it gets X plus 1 plus 1 counters, and you create half the food tokens of the X rounded up. So if it's 3, you get 2 food tokens. And then whenever Goose Mother attacks, you can sacrifice a food if you do draw a card. So the Goose Mother is medium power. You know, it's fine. It, it makes tokens on entering the battlefield. That's pretty good. Uh, it's a 2-2 just to start, but, um, you know, it has to attack to draw cards. So this is, a, this is a fun card, but is it a powerful card? I don't know. I think I've built a powerful deck. One that takes advantage of plus one, plus one counters and food tokens alike. So we have a ton of stuff that obviously cares about plus one, plus one counters. A lot of things. We have the Ozolith. We have our favorite arena uh, arena champion that I would never play in paper, Wildwood Scourge. We have a uh, Dusk Shell Crawler to give everything that has a counter on it. A, a, uh, a trample. This gives extra plus one, plus one counters with the other Ozlith. We have a little Simic Ascendancy action. So uh, whenever counters are put on a creature, put that many counters on Simic Ascendancy. If we got 20 or more, we win the game. That's fancy. We're going to try to get a win with that. You know, a little Branching Evolution action, Rishkar, Tribute to the World Tree, of course, the Great Hinge. But even, even then, uh, Quandrix, uh, Tanazar Quandrix puts counters on creatures and then when you attack, everything becomes a 5-5 five five or bigger if uh, if Tanazar is bigger than that. And uh, even a, a really sweet one from Multiversal Legends, Azuri Claw of Progress. And this actually gives plus one, plus one counters to a creature based on the number of experience you have. So, in addition to that, we have a couple of creatures that obviously love to be nice and large to make mana based on how big they are. Combi of Whispered Hopes. We love this card. Talk about it all the time. Uh, Marwan the Nurturer. Even though we don't have a ton of elves. But you know she could get big in different ways. So outside of that. We have a lot of food loving things as well. Of course Tyler's Provisioner. But then a bunch of little little nice little extra things. Like stew the conies. Fight something. Make a food. Uh, eat something like um, where is the card. Many partings. Search for a basic land. Get a food. Something that destroys an artifact or enchantment. Spider food. Make a food. So we're making all these little auxiliary food tokens. But then, of course, the star of the show is Parallel Lives, Doubling Season, Primal Vigor. To copy all of our counters and all of our tokens. Of course, uh, Parallel Lives only does tokens. But either way... It's a lot. You know, we, we also got uh, Vor and Clex to just counter all those, to double those counters too. So, powerful deck. It's mostly green, a little tiny bit of blue, mostly green. Uh, I, I think it's going to perform well, even if the Goose Mother is just okay. I think the rest of the deck is really powerful. But you know what? One way to find out. Before we get to the game, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you keep seeing this sweet, sweet content every day. And if you want to level up your game, check out Metify and book a coaching session with some of Magic's best players like Reed Duke, Luis Salvato, and Raphael Levy. Use my affiliate link to help yourself and this channel at the same time. All right, uh, we're going first against Feather the Redeemed. And we have a Fading Hope to return Feather one time. Uh, Selvala, we're probably going to have the biggest creature, but is this a good hand? We don't really have anything else going on, so I'm going to say no. Okay. This this one I can get this one I can get down behind. We have an elvish archivist because we have uh, artifacts and enchantments. That's nice. We have two and en three enchantments in our hand on top of that, and of course, Goose Mom's gonna be making making some uh, making some artifacts. So, yeah, elvish archivist is pretty pretty nice in this deck. Helps us helps us both ways. Let's play the actually no. Let's play Bramble Familiar. Let's just play Bramble. Familiar. Let's just get this tribute of the world tree down down early. I feel I feel like that's really what we want. And they can feather or not. 
If they want to kill this, so be it. No, they're gonna they're gonna feather it up. Okay. Hinterland Harbor. Hinterland Harbor is good. Okay. So in that case, uh, Elvish Archivist and Ranje Class. Yeah, we're gonna get to draw a card. Nice. Keep those lands flowing. Uh, Marwan is also also pretty nice. Before we get down the Goose Bomb, we obviously want to parallel lives. <coughs> if possible. I don't know how quickly... They keep looking at this Bramble Familiar like they want to kill it. I don't know how quickly they're going to get us. Usually they need another creature in addition to Feather to really, like, punch us pretty good. But we'll see. Shadow Sphere. Okay. That doesn't increase the clock a, a ton. They do get to draw an extra card because they can play uh, Defiant Strike on on our turn. So we have five mana. Let's go ahead and parallel lives draw a card. Iliasin, carry added, and we will just attack for four. Okay. Defiant Strike, they draw a card. In our second main phase, notably. That way they can get it back at the end of the turn. Because if they do it at the end step, it's the next turn. No, but they get it back now. Feather, pretty powerful. If uh, if you can't beat her up, she will she will slice and dice. Okay, here's creature number two. Creature number two is where it gets... Uh, where it can get a little rough. Rip apart on parallel lives. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's not great, but you know what? Doubling season, if we were to get that, that's really the one. Oh, they did not play Defiant Strike, so they have a protection spell. That's what that tells me. They got a protection spell. You know what? We're going to play Tribute to the World Tree. And then we're going to uh, play a Jespara Sentinel. And then we're going to play a uh, Carry And they're just going to get big gonna get big okay and we'll just attack four two all right fine strike okay so next turn we will have so we have five six seven we don't have a creature with power four greater so we only have seven so this is gonna be this could be x equals five we're certainly not going to play around the uh, mana tide. Even though I'm sure they have it in their deck. But we, we will not play around it. No way. No. Actually, you know what? I think we will incidentally play around it. Not really on purpose. Oh, that makes the Marwan's Kindred, man. No blocks. Makes this card not good. Redain. Okay. So we are going to... So we have six down here. Seven. Eight. So let's go ahead and do this for eight. Or for six, rather. Uh, we'll make this a blue... We'll tap... Uh, the wolf. Sure. Three, two, one... All right. We'll hold up Tyvar's stand, but we can also, like, incidentally play around Manatide. All right. So we're going to draw a card. We're going to make food, and then Elvish Archivist is going to get bigger. Okay. The cabin, that's going to make another food. That's pretty good. Pretty solid here. Ooh, this could let us... Uh... I think we really want to keep this Tyvar stand up. That's the thing that I'm most I'm most concerned most concerned about is like this is our shot if we can untap with Goose Mom well, we could be in good shape could be in good shape Goose Mom is a big a big honkin blocker and they're they're drawing a lot of cards. They've drawn five or six cards with those Defiant Strikes, so. All right. I imagine they're going to try to get rid of this Goose Mom here. 
Rile on up. Yeah, rile it on up. Go ahead. That is an interesting noise for Ryle. Is that supposed to be a dinosaur? It sounded... It sounded more ogre-like, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, X is gonna equal zero. Because we're still gonna play around Mana Tithe. And you know, if we successfully play around Mana Tithe, we'll never know if we successfully played around Mana Tithe. That's kind of the trick. But, you know, so be it. Well, Dragon Rage Chandler has to attack, so we're gonna eat that. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna remove Oh, they could have done that the whole time. Swords of Plowshares. Okay. Yeah, this could have removed Hexproof and Indestructible. Well, well, well. Alright, looks like we we'll have to play it again. Well, they're gonna attack for a number in the air. Probably a pretty high number. All right, they're tapping out, man. This would be this would be the time. This would be the time to draw some sort of removal. Spell. We may be dead if we don't. <sighs> Doubling season. That's a good one. That, <coughs> that is is a good one. All right. I think we can afford to play doubling season. I mean, we can cast it, but can we afford to play it? That I that I don't. Know. We're going to go ahead and do this first, because now this makes two mana. And, uh... How big do we need the mom to be? Let's see, one, two, th three, four. And so we can make her a one... One, two, three... Four, five... Six? Make her a six, six? I want to put. Might want to do this, and then like attack with this wolf. So X equals four. I think that's pretty pretty solid. There we go. All right, we'll draw a card. Make some food. Uh, let's go ahead and level this up. And then we are going to attack with these two. We're going to put a plus one, plus one counter on the wolf. And crash in for seven. Now, if they got a removal spell, they got a removal spell. Which, I mean, they probably do. They have three cards in their hand right now. They did, they did have to use two last time. They're going to draw two more cards. They're going to get to surveil as they do it. Surveillance pretty good, I hear. Okay, I mean they're just crashing in. All right, let's uh, let's block Redane and then let's block uh, let's block better against my better judgment, but I'm sure we got some indestructible nonsense. Okay, Titan Street's getting the Jess Bar Sentinel. All right. I know we got something for Goosebomb on Feather. It's plus two, plus two. And Hexproof. There it is. There's the Sheltering Light. That's what I thought. Okay. We take three. Goosebomb bites the dust yet again. Redain still hanging around. Man. Feather, that's uh, that's a difficult, that's a difficult card to defeat. It's a difficult card to defeat. Redain is is really, really the one that's kind of cramping our style, though. Yeah, let's get back just Bar Sentinel. It has Reach, which is that's something, something mighty important. Something mighty, mighty important. Uh, Jaspar Sentinel. Okay, gonna get a couple of counters. Now let's uh, go attacking with at least these two. 
Let's see, Goose Bomb is one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. So we can do X equals two? That's not very much. That's not very much, is it? I mean, I think we gotta do it, though. Uh, okay, attacks. I mean, we could gain a bunch of life, but, like, how much life is it really? That's kind of the problem. A braid? That's not nice. Was their last their last secret card in hand, huh? Okay, all right, we'll be down. See, it's just oh, it's just a lot of ogre noises. Hi, right, that's an ogre. Don't don't try to tell me that it's not. All right, uh, X equals two. Man, I think that's what we got to do. All right, draw another card, make a food. Aragon took, okay. We're just trying to hold on for dear life here. Okay, we know they... <laughs> All this nonsense. Ancestral Anger. Does that give Trample? I think it does. Oh, yeah. Gives Trample. Mmm, right on. Okay. So, the good news is, so they can give plus one, plus three, plus six. So, we are dead. We're dead. Yep, that's indestructible. God, this the, the fact that this is untapped is just so annoying. So that's indestructible. All they need to do is just bump up uh, Feather a bunch. They gain a billion life. Yeah. We're not, like, going to zero dead, but I don't really see a way... I see a good way around this, to be honest. Surprised they didn't use this. Yeah, we'll move our commander to the command zone. It only costs six more now. Thermo Alchemist. Yet another blocker. Getting them all back. Galadriel. Man. I feel like I feel like we had a shot at, in this game at some point, but you know, then it kind of just gets away from you. Kind of just gets away from you. I really just want to cast this card. So 11. So this is going to be uh, X equals 5. Yeah, let's do it. So many triggers. <laughs> That's a pretty cool card. Marwan's Kindred. Oh, that's a shame. A little late for Simic Ascendancy, isn't it? <laughs> little late. Little late. Yeah, I'm going to block with Redane now. Give it indestructible. Yeah. All right, good game. Good game. We'll pack it in. Feather proves to be a tough nut crack. All right, Yo-Yo uh, Ryan. Sky Nomad. We got a lot of shenanigans cards, but we don't have a lot of... We don't have any creatures or ramps, so we'll mull this. All right. This is much better. This is much better. Uh, we will probably start off with Gala Greeters, and then Bramble Familiar make a treasure. Look at that. All right. Gala Greeters. I invite you to the Gala. What a great card. Birth of Miletus. All right. Uh, Jaspera Sentinel. Great. We can play two things. All right. Bramble Familiar. Very familiar with that Bramble. Let's make a treasure. And Jaspera Sentinel. 
Let's make a plus one, plus one counter, and then go attack him. Hiya! For two. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five mana. Okay. Still five mana. <laughs> Carnage Bastion. That's not bad. Okay, let's first run J class. Okay, let's make a treasure deck. All right, let's scry two. Ooh, counter spells. You know what? I don't think we. I'm not. I'm not gonna mess with counter spell. Let's be proactive. College drill's nice, but you know what? Let's just. Let's just. We can. We can do better. I believe in us. I believe. All right, let's level. Let's level this up. We'll tap this Wolfie. We'll attack here. We should have put a counter on it just so we could actually break through this wall. Much like the Fits and Tantrum song. That's what we should have done. Try to break the wall. So, Confounding Conundrum. When we play extra lands, they go back to our hand. That's fine. We're not really... We're not, we're not worried about that a whole heck of a lot. The Shire. Uh... Two on target, two on target creature. Okay, uh, that's gonna be this wolf, our wolf friend. Okay, now let's go ahead and play Goose Mom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, so X equals four. Uh, I won't. I won't be untapping. Okay. How about this? Is this better? Is that? Does that satisfy you? One, two, three, four. Okay. I don't want to tap that. How, okay. There we go. Just don't understand, huh? But I just don't want to tap that. All right. Let's make more treasures. Make some food. Two of it, to be specific. All right, then we're going to play the Shire. And then we're going to go attacking. We're going to attack here and here. Put a counter on Gala Greeters. Okay, great. Yep. Blocking that, taking four. So next turn... We choose a creature to fight another creature, and then if it dies, we draw two cards. So we could choose this Jaspera Sentinel to fight Lauren of the Third Path. Now I like them draw I like drawing cards here. That's nice. And if they play Yorian, and we can bounce this in response. That's gonna be pretty that's gonna be pretty spicy. Because they think they're they think they're gonna fight a thing, but they do, they're not gonna be able to fight a thing. <laughs> not gonna be able to fight a thing at all. No. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to get more value out of Yorian. Uh, understandably, that's the right call. Uh, survey says they are packing it up. They could not handle the honking. All right, we are on the play against the very first sliver, the very first one of all time. We're gonna keep this hand. Why? Because we have. <laughs> Hardened Scales. We have Wildwood Scourge, which is good, a good combination with Hardened Scales. And we have Hopes and Dreams in our hearts. And that, my friends, is the most important of all. So Wildwood Scourge is going to be... So Mind Spike. They can either get Finale or Negate. I hope they take the Finale. Okay, good. We were so far away from casting that. <laughs> Uh, X equals one. We'll take other damage. No problem. Two counters. We get a little cradle clear cutter. Delighted half. And just right on time. As always. You know what? First, let's attack for two. Okay, great. And then we will prototype this little clear cutter here. And then we're going to Wicked Wolf, and we're just going to chomp on this Delighted Halfling. Just... 
eat it for lunch. So currently we've seen uh, a halfling, a citizen, and a sliver. So they could be anything. Could be anything. Hmm. That's, that's pretty good. I wish we had something really meaningful to do with this, but we don't. So we are just going to Wicked Wolf. And just chomp on this delighted half. Okay, and then we will attack for three. Uh, and then we will Goose Bomb on the next turn, assuming that we have permanents left on the battlefield. Well, probably going to do it anyway, but... <laughs> Acidic Slime. There goes Hard Skip. Okay, good. Not... Not the Shire. Okay. Or rather, not us. Uh, so this only makes green mana, right? So I think we can hold this up. So let's... Green, green, activate, choose a color, green, uh, blue. And then this is going to be X equals three. Okay, get some counters. And then let's, uh, yeah, let's attack. We can, of course, make Wicked Wolf indestructible. If they want to block, I will trade a food. No problem. This is going to get more counters. Please and thank you. All right. We're chilling with Negate. We got a pretty nice little board here, to be honest. The first sliver. All right. Let's see what you got. What you got? Show me, show me your worst. Croxa. Okay, that was really annoying. Croc, I think it's our last card out of our hand, huh? Okay. You got it. All right. I gotta be honest, wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's, uh... I mean, I can fire up this Hall of the Storm Giants. That's kind of tempting. I think it's really tempting, actually. All right. Uh, activate this for five. This is only six. Um, yeah, we need to make a blue. All the Storm Giants. Let's go. We, we do not have time to waste. They're at 16. So if they block this, they take 12. They block the smallest thing. You know, you know what? What do we have to be scared of? I'm just attacking. Let's attack. We're in it to win it, baby. You block that hall of the storm giant. That's fine. There are four. Now, do we have a sweeper coming that's going to absolutely destroy us? I'd say 50-50. But you know what? Perhaps. <laughs> you know, move our commander. And I know I could have left the food to keep Wicked Wolf alive in, in, in the case that that happened. You know what? You know what? All right, X equals one here. Just one. Yeah. So I'm like a little three three. Okay. We still we still can put the pressure on. We can still put the pressure on. We can. Okay. All right. That was an interesting noise people that made. Uh, we get attacked. Draw cards. Ooh, dark ritual. Is this gonna is just gonna be the first sliver again? I got the mana. Croxa. Okay. Let's get rid of Leafkin Druid. Okay. All the blossoms. These don't have these things don't have flying. Bramble familiar. Alright. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to attack. We're gonna eat this food up. Nom, 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 nom. Primal Vigor, that's an interesting one. And... I'm tempted to do a Primal Vigor, but it's both sides, so this one is a lot riskier. <laughs> it's, it's quite risky. We'll discard the Primal Vigor, that's fine. Alright, so we'll play the Bramble Familiar since they're at one, you know. And then we'll pass the turn. 
if when they did when they attack, we'll discard the uh, the, the vigor. But they gotta they gotta find an answer for the goose, because the goose is loose right now, and they need to contain the goose. Settle the wilds. That's not containing the goose. Okay, they're down to three mana. You trying to contain the goose with with just three mana? That's not a good way to contain the goose. Okay, Primal Vigor, you're gone. Okay. No blocks. Are we going to goose them? Charming Prince. Gaining three life? You jerk. All right. Uh, our turn. Let's get rid of... Choose a creature we control. Let's 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 attack the charm. Let's honk on the charming prince. Oh my god, we've done it. The Ozlith. Good game. Yes. Yes. Your your power is useless here. You've been honked on. And we got the protection spell. What up? God, what if they what if they had a swords and they went for it after we drew? That would have been so great. You know what? We got honked on. First sliver, not not honking enough. All right, well, we're on the draw, and we have two lands, but we have a many partings, which is basically like a land, and it gets us a food. So we're actually going to keep this hand. We really just need to get one more land uh, to be able to play Tireless Provisioner on three, and then the following turn be able to play something, make a food, treasure, etc., cetera, uh, and then just start going. Start going off. I mean, at least going, you know, quicker. Maybe not necessarily off. All right. Mini partings. Let's get... We have one island in the deck. We'll go ahead and get that. Make sure we get our blue source. And then we can... Look, we drew this Elysian Carotid, which is a great draw. So they're playing Sigarda, which normally that's bad. And, and this time it's also bad. Because... Uh, oh, we, it's, it's, only, it's only them, not us. I was going to say, because we can't sacrifice permanents. We can sacrifice them. Our opponents, we just can't make our opponents sacrifice them, which is fine. In this case, I don't have anything to make them sacrifice anything. Okay. Dawn Evangel. If a creature dies, if an aura, you can return something. Okay. Well, you know. You know, you know, you know. All right, so let's go ahead and Tyler's Provisioner. Let's make a treasure, and then we'll play the little teething wormlet. Look at this little baby, adorable baby thing right here. Look at this. How can you not love this with all of your heart? And if you're like, I, I don't care, you are a liar? I don't even think you're a terrible person, I just think you're a liar. And I think you need to look inward to identify what you think is cute. And it's this little, this adorable little angel right here. Look at this face. Look at his face. A face everyone can love. Look! And they got rid of the wormlet. They couldn't stand it. They just couldn't stand it. Ooh, uh, Defiler of Vigor, that is a good card. <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and play old Defiler of Vigor here. Yeah, we will gladly, gladly use that. Uh, no attacks. Uh, we're gonna go... We're gonna go nuts in here. In a second. Sigarda. Okay. Yeah, no, no attacky for you. I didn't think so. Okay, so... We have one, two, three, four, five mana. Which means we can cast uh, Clear Cutter uh, for each creature you control. Whenever you cast a green permanent. Okay, so this is not a green permanent. Actually, it might be green with different mana cost, color, power, and toughness. Okay. All right. So, uh, Cradle Clear Cutter. We're obviously paying. Yeah, Defiler of Vigor. I've never, never wanted to do that so badly in my life. Obviously with Defiler. 
We're going to chomp on... A creature dies if an R was attached to it. We don't need to counter anything. We're going to chomp on this thing. Chomp. And now we're just going to... Uh, we're going to uh, continue our assault on our opponent. With the Philo Vigor, this is a super duper messed up card. The fact that green got the best one, color me surprised. And by color me surprised, I mean that's exactly what I thought would happen. And they're taking 13. You know what? I like that. I like that. We're, we're done. We're done. We still got this food laying around in case we need to... Need, Wick, Wicked Wolf needs to get indestructible for some crazy reason. Kenny's transformation. Okay, that's still 5-5. Five, five. Still, still mean. Face of Divinity. Okay. Another aura. It has first strike. It doesn't, though. It does not have another aura. So it's just a 7-7. Seven, seven. Now, that's pretty good. That's pretty big. Sizable. Okay. So this can make a treasure or a, give a counter. Same with Tanazir Quantrix. I think... So how much mana do we have? Two, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can play Fall of Gilga, <laughs> Gilgalad. Oof. You know, I just don't think we have time for doubling season. We'll keep the Besaju. The Besaju could be could be very important. So, I think we need to we need to give this give this a little boosty here. And you know, let's give this to the actually. Oh, we just give it to itself. Great! <laughs> All we had to do was just choose itself, and they cannot handle. They were the honking didn't even happen. They were scared of the potential honking. All right, we're going first against Cigar to host of Herons. Yet again. All right, fine. We'll do it a different way. We'll keep this hand. So we can play the Shire, then Hall of the Storm Giants. In that order, very specifically. And we'll play uh, the Oslo. Yeah, okay, this is the slow this is the slow version. But I feel like this is a powerful hand. By virtue of all of the cards being uh, crazy powerful. Adorable, delighted little baby. But we're going to go ahead and uh, growing rights, find a creature. Whew! We're not going to find a creature. Okay. I stand corrected. The more you know. Cultivate. <laughs> Man. Man. That was that was that was quite a quite a surprise. Did I change decks? That just has the mother goose also. Ooh, got punched in the face by the delighted halfling, huh? Okay. Uh, I think I think we want a gingerbread cabin, and then just pass the turn. Probably gonna try to counter Sagarda when Sagarda comes down. Yep. Well, let's go ahead and stand for stroke Sagarda. Could potentially come down next turn. Okay. Augur of Autumn. Maybe, maybe there's a land on top. Let's see if we can get some of our value back. Hello. We've done it. And we don't want... Let's just go ahead and put a counter on here. By counter, I mean two counters. It'd be really great if they didn't play Sigarda. Okay, no, uh, no lands on top. That's fine, that's fine. Can't play Coma quite yet, but what we can do is we can honk for four. We can honk for four, which is really five because of the Oslo. All you do is just find one more land, and then Coma's going to come to town, and they're not going to like that. I can tell you from experience, they will not like it. Because I, I don't like it. Commonly don't like it. I'm a coma not enjoyer. Uh, well, you know what? I mean... 
we can always play this. Yeah, let's surprise them. Okay, let's attack for seven. Let's honk for seven. Go ahead and draw a card. Okay. Ooh, they're saying A-OK. -okay. Well, that was very surprising. All right, uh, yeah, let's honk. This is a, ser a serpent honk. This serpent honks, in case you didn't know, yeah, this is a honking serpent. Okay, makes honker honkers, not coma coils. Okay, I would predict they have a sweeper. And then we played Coma, and then they're going to be sad about it. Bruna, nice. Oh, that is nice. It, it actually is nice. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Got some honkers. Okay. Wildwood Scourge. Uh, let's play this X equals one, because that's all you ever need to do. We're not going to do this. Okay. X equals one. Simic Ascendancy. Hmm. Let's... I guess we're going to play this on the blue side. And we don't need this. Let's go ahead and play Leafkin Druid. And then... Let's put some counters on some things. And the counters are going to go on to Coma. And then we're going to get counters there. Okay. All right. Survey says it's time to attack. Hiya. Yeah, we'll eat this food. I'd like a little snack. I'd like a little snack if you don't mind. Just one little snack. They're taking it? Are you taking a million? Right on. Flip it. Oh yeah, we got a guy's cradle now. We are full on guy's cradle action. All right, we're at twenty one. They're gonna try to meld on us. I can feel it. I can feel the meld in the air tonight. We're not gonna let it happen, and then we're gonna we're gonna get them with the honkers. Hoof, hoof, you say. You know what? I say nay. You say hey. I say nay. You say hoof. I say honk. Manatides. Yeah, no problem. I got the one this time, baby. Yes. Never losing the manatide. Hmm. They tried. They tried to hoof, but instead they got honked. All right, we go first against uh, Will, Pact Bound Duelist. And, oh man, this is such a good hand, but it's so slow. Am I going to be quick? I gain control of stuff? Hmm. I think we got to go. We got a mulligan. This is, this is an inarguably better hand. It's, it's, you know, this comes to play tapped, which is a little annoying, but we'll be, we'll be fine. Play the carry added. Then we can play a couple of things, uh, a couple of things on the next turn. Peregrine took or not. All right, let's play Peregrine took. And then after we will play Gilligan's. Afterwards. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay, that's a pretty good card. Ooh, Kami. We love a Kami. We need this as a land, unfortunately. Okay, let's play the Kami. And let's play the Goose. Make two foods. In fact, no attacks. Thanks, Peregrine Took. You can see the goose food and then the hobbit food. The halfling food. Yeah, we'll block. 
might be able to kill this. They, I'm sure they just needed a treasure, so. Spiteful banditry? That's not nice. You know what? That was spiteful. That was really spiteful. Okay. X equals two. They could have done it for three, so it didn't really matter. They're going to get us no matter what. Swords and plowshares? We haven't even made our hunkers yet. And the hunkers are food. In case you were... I'm sure. We're getting, uh... We're getting wrapped up every which way. We're all crossed up. Okay, that's... This is not great. Dusk Shell Crawler, and it's going to give a counter to itself. They gonna get this too? Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Man, our phone's going hard. They're like, nah, nah. You get nothing. <laughs> you get, you get nothing, sir. They've lined everything up exactly right. I'm not even mad at it. Look, we're just playing against Planeswalker. No wonder. They're the OG. I think I'm going to do this because I need to scry. And save some... <laughs> save three life. Rishkar. Yeah, you know what? That seems good. Does it, though? No. Rishkar's not good enough. You're not good enough, Rishkar. Restoration of a gun. Sure thing. Get basic planes. Play the basic planes. Or not. They already played a land this turn. Alright, there's a land. Alright, we can honk for one. We can do a singular honk. I think we need to honk. God, what if they kill this? We just honk for two? Can any of these become flying? No? Okay. Should I read all of this to find out what the correct answer is? Yeah, probably. We're honking for one. We can't live with fear in our heart. Everyone's got their own little food. Look, the, the goose the goose mom's food... Look, this is exactly the type of food that a mom would prepare, okay? Look at this. Oh, that's a goose egg? We're just eating it right out? Don't, don't you sacrifice this. To your next turn? Unbelievable. Don't you dare sacrifice this. I don't even know what you could do to it, but I don't want you to do it. Copy of... Oh, whoa, it, it made it into a fancy version. Man, they're, they're getting us. They're getting our goose. Literally. It's right here. And they got it. Now. Do we get Tyvar stand here? Give this plus three. Kill Boromir. You know what? Let's do that. Or let's kill this guy. What could go wrong? Surely they don't have another removal spell in their hand of all removal spells. Oh my god. They are mono removal spells. Mono removal spells. They never saw a removal spell they didn't love. Faithless looting. Oh, this must not be a removal spell. They're getting rid of it. Oh, yeah, it was a land. All right, they got another removal spell. We know that's what it is, sir, okay? Now, give me back the goose. Thank you. All right, we got a honk. Thank goodness we can play this Feasting Troll King. All right, let's honk. Honk. Attack for three, which, let me tell you, not, not all that exciting. 
Feasting Troll King is pretty good, though. Alright, Troll King. Show us what... This is... I, I mean, I'm not even mad. If you come with this much removal... And the irony is, like, they've lined it up to every removal spell has been at the right time on the right creature. Like, the first time, if they didn't have the swords and they just had all these, like, three damage things... All these three damage things... Wait, what? Are we taking... Wait, what's happening? How did... When you specialize, you can sacrifice a creature, and then you just, you get to, you get to kill, oh, you know what, we were dead anyway. Good game. Alright, we go first against Gyruda, aka Gigan. Man, this is a great hand, with green mana. Alright, here we go, here we go, this is what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about right here, baby. Adorable, delighted halfling. And we're gonna get a little carry added action. But we're going to crack in with this. Hiya. Got to let him know. Just got to let him know. I think we're going to go... I think we might be going aggro this time. We might be going aggro. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's X equals 4 here. I want to get this great hinge down because they're going to have a lot of trouble with this. Don't kill all my creatures. Mind stuff. All right. Don't kill any of my creatures. Iron crack. Okay. Now, what did I what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I said don't kill my creatures. X equals 5 and 6. So this is going to be X equals 5. All right. Time to honk. This great hand is going to be free, practically. All right. Garuda. Definitely going to keep that as mana. And they hit a Bramble Familiar, and that's it. Essence Flux. Uh-oh. They're not done. Oh, no. They hit Thassa. I'm gonna get Thassa. Do it again. Alright. Ah, oh, they hit Grizzlebrand. Very cool. Alright. I did think for a second we were not dead. It's fun. That was a fun thought. A brief and fun thought. Alright. I guess we gotta attack. We got. I mean, we got to try to honk on them, right? We can't. We're here to honk. We're not. We're not here to not honk. Rough triplets. That's pretty good. Oh, this is only. It only makes creatures. Okay. Uh. Indestructible. And hexproof. Yeah. Draw them cards. Go ahead. Okay. Gruff triplets. Yes. Two counters on it. One counter on it. And we'll pass the turn. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. But our opponent does have nine cards in their hand. So, I bet it's bad. But it's going to be bad. How many times are they going to blink this? Grim Tutor? Okay. You lose three. Our Billy Goat Gruff Triplets. To its power. So the rest get bigger. They just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Are right, they have five mana... It's blue. Are they gonna like? I would I would assume it was gonna be Rivers Rebuke, but they don't. They doesn't look like they have six mana. 
Oh, they do have six mana. They have Bramble Familiar. Okay, Metamorph. Surgical Metamorph. Ooh, they're going to get a gruff, their gruff triplets on. Okay. Nice. Palladium Mirror. Okay. Looks like they're playing the long game. I can appreciate that. I was gonna say, dare, don't you dare attack. That's that's a that's a fool's errand to attack. All right, do your worst. Oh, just a gym attack. Okay, good. Our turn. And we're gonna lose our hand at the end of this turn, so that's nice. Got that going for us. All right. Defiler of Vigor. Okay, we're definitely paying one. Get bigger. Restless Vine Stalk. Probably should have wait. I mean, you know what? God, this is indestructible. Trample. God, okay, so they could just block here, then they can block here, and then they can block here. Yeah, that's not gonna work out for me. That's that's a uh, not gonna work out. We will goose though. We'll get our goose on. Salvala, so, okay, that's good. Okay. Uh yeah, we're gonna pay we're gonna pay like so. Everything bigger. Let's I mean, do we need treasures? I think we just want to make Gallic Readers bigger. Let's make it every, everyone bigger. Ozolith. Yeah, we're obviously doing it like this. And then we're going to Ozolith. Who on who? Who is the question? Probably this Gruff Triplets. Two counters. Sure, we discard our two lands. Not a big deal. I think we're doing okay. Dark Ritual. I swear to God, if you do a Sweeper. I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be so mad if you do a Sweeper. Ravenous Choop. Okay. Goose Mom's got to go. Yeah, we expected that, though. Hey, now I, that's just, now this is just a creature I can cast. Undercover Operative. Choop. They're going to just start chooping it up. Okay. Maximum Chupage. Phyrexian Metamorph. More Chups. Okay, what are you going to Chup now? Selvala? Going to go for that Big Gruff Triplets. Okay. Come on now. Don't be scared. Yeah, going to go for Selvala. That's what I thought. You got the Fear. Get the fear in you. Okay, you're pretty much out of mana. Man, finale devastation. That would be that would be the best possible draw. That's how I'd really like to end this. I would have I would have liked to not have um three of my creatures die, you know, for all being honest. All right, four of my creatures die. Yeah, they're gonna chew it up. Oh, they're gonna make a great hinge. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I suppose that's fine. Okay. Need something to put counters on something. We need we need some good draws. Okay, merge keeper. Um, I mean, I think we just, I think we just start. Let's make all this man. All right, Merge Keeper. Now we're going to put, get, get more counters. Wicked Wolf. That is a good one. Wicked Wolf is a very good one. 
if we get Jenga taxes, then Thassa goes away. Which, of course, we can. Uh, we're going to fight Jenga taxes here. Uh, I guess we're going to make a treasure. And then... Oops, no, we'll sacrifice it like so. Okay. Sasa, get out of here. All right. Um, so we have this Ottawara. And let's make... Let's make this Gruff Triplets really big. Because it's got Trample. Actually, let's just make another one big. Okay. This Ottawara is going to be our secret weapon. Because these all have trample, so if they block, if they block poorly, we can bounce something. This is just when it dies. Okay. All right. They're gaining two life. If they block poorly, we can bounce something, and we can we can get them. All right. Oh baby. Oh, they only take a nine. Ah, that's a shame. That's a real... That's a real heckin' shame. Be a shame if one of your blockers got bounced and you died. Yes. Oh, that is a very, very satisfying victory against Gyruda. Thank you all so much for watching, and please let me know in the comments if there's anything in this deck that you would change from the way that I built it. And while you're down there, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this content so you don't miss any more Historic Brawl, Commander, or other great Singleton action. Thank you again so much. I'm Justin Parnell, and we'll see you next time.